arrived uh, at the time uh, in the debate where the candidates ask questions of themselves. We're going to start with Mr. Healy. The candidates will have uh, one minute to ask the question, a uh, one minute reply, and the questioner will get a 30 second rebuttal. Mr. Healy, question for either of these candidates. Um, yes, uh, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, I have a question because you said earlier that you were working with the family business and I was just wondering whether you still work for the family business. Is that a second job or do you just receive the hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a year from the business as a bonus, a dividend or what have you? I'm an owner of a family business along with it was a business that uh, was in my mother's family. My father ran it and the five do you children. It? We, we have professional Dude. staff that operates it, and we oversee it. We live around the country, and uh, it, it, my father is still involved in the business. So, I'm proud so, of it. So the dividends are hundred to uh, $100 to $200,000 that you report? We're owners of the business, and I report all of is my income. It varies I, from I year to year. I understand that you report. I guess the question is whether it's being reported as a dividend from the business or whether it's earnings from the business. I'm an owner. And I, I, I'm an S corporation owner, so it's earnings from the business as we report it. Mr. Venerini. A uh, repliant or? Sure. Well, if she doesn't have any part of the company, I don't see why she should uh, why she'd be uh, not allowed to uh, be part of the company. She doesn't do anything that, that interferes with her job as lieutenant governor. I don't understand why that's a problem. Is it a problem? Well, I'm asking if the money is coming from earnings or dividends. If it's a dividend of the corporation, that's fine because everybody has er uh, ownership of things. But if it's an earnings, I'm wondering where the earnings are coming from, whether she's working or, uh, or is it a show, do no show job or, or what have you. I, I, I'm an owner of a business, just so you've been an owner of I a business. I am. I'll turn to the Lieutenant Governor. Question, Lieutenant Governor. Yes, um, Mr. Healy, uh, right here I have a questionnaire for candidates that is um, featured on golocalprov.com. Mm -hmm. I want to read a, a few of your responses for the listeners. Sure. When asked about economic development, uh, you su suggest, among other things, that Rhode Island should focus on, quote, finding the fountain of youth. Responding to a question about education funding, your answer is simply, quote, is youth kidding me? I guess I'm asking how can Rhode Islanders expect you to take the responsibility of the office seriously when you've shown over the course of years that you don't really take issues seriously? It's a smart well, aleck response. I think that the issue is uh, in that particular questionnaire there was a question as to whether or not uh, the education was sufficient in Rhode Island and whether we were doing everything we could be doing for that. And I think the answer is no. And I think the answer is you're kidding me clearly is indicative of that particular uh, a response because we are not doing everything we can do for education in the state of Rhode Island. As for the economic development part, you want to take it out of context, which you like to do, I guess, but it said, I think what you have to focus on is an industry that has a long, long, long existence, something that you would t it would be almost impossible to do, and that way you could focus on it, such as finding a cure for cancer, such as, uh, I mean, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but I mean, like landing on the moon or or finding the fountain of youth. That's in essence what the, uh, I mean, a little literary, uh, but I'm sorry, I'm trained that way. Mr. Venerini. Is you kidding me? What? That's, that's kind of odd. I, here I am, people uh, accused me early on that I was running for the, for the heck of it, or for, it was a joke, I was only kidding, or whatever, but I'm damn serious about running. And then I hear something like that, and I'm wondering why I'm the one that's being accused of uh, running for the sake of running. I think people should go to golocal.prov uh, and, go local go local go mm -hmm. and see the answers. See I the answers. Questions in the Interactive answers. partner, golocalprov.com. Go, go local Thank prom. you. Yeah. Question from Mr. Vanirini for the other candidates, please. Uh, do I have questions for both of them? Uh, just one, right, right, right at this now. particular mm -hmm. point. Oh, all right. Questions for Ms. Roberts. This state is going in the wrong direction because of several major problems. Waste, abuse, corruption, ties to special interests, <laughs> legislative abuse, excessive spending, in taxes, excessive pensions, excessive unemployment, and poor business climate. What did you do as Lieutenant Governor spending $4 million to prevent or deal with any of these problems? There's a long list there. I, know, I, worked, a, a, a I, worked, stop it. I worked a great deal with small business. I have always been somebody who's spoken out strongly on ethical issues, went very directly at, at an abuse that I saw uh, with the Lucas Group and proposed legislation to change it, was the only uh, statewide elected official to come out publicly and stand with Common Cause to change our Constitution to make sure that speech and debate um, was included in something the Ethics Commission could oversee. Uh, I am somebody who has traditionally bucked what you would call the, the insider crowd in the State House. I'm proud of it and I've been able to be successful getting things done even while being independent. Bob Healy. Well, I think that it's laudable that uh, the Lieutenant Governor was out there on the speech and debate clause. 
Mr. Venerini? Hold on the what? I didn't hear his answer. He said something about the speech and debate clause. Oh. Okay. We'll no. move on. Uh, move on. Through? Okay. Yeah. Mr. Healy, question for Mr. Venerini, you, indi you indicate quite frequently that uh, you want to use this bully pulpit to right. somehow root out corruption. Exactly. You're on an hour of TV show every week. Do you root out corruption there? No, I don't. Why that's not? not my job. Oh, so it's only your job. It would be my elected. job as the lieutenant governor because I would also have the protection of the state police and the police if I did if I under uncovered and, something. And where do you have dangerous. this role in the constitution? No, but I would have the state police, and uh, they would certainly back a lieutenant governor rather than back an hour with Bob. So you're they saying the state police don't back an hour with Bob? No, I, I, I'm saying that they wouldn't be there for me as they would be f there for me if so I was So the police only for protect people who are elected? Yeah. Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Let me, you let know me, that. Let me ask the lieutenant governor your thoughts. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure where to go with this one. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think what's incredibly important is that we are focused on doing what the public needs. This is a time for leadership. That's it is right. a time for leadership. It is not a time to say there's nothing written in the Constitution. It is a time to say the public needs jobs. It needs affordable health care. It needs government that works. That's what we should be talking about here. But we should also be talking about where you have the power to actually do this. I mean, you can sit on advisory councils, you can talk about talk and contact and meetings and get people together and do all those nice little things. I agree. But the reality is that there's no power in the office. You go to an, uh, there's an emergency, and you go there, and you're nice because you're in the picture. I like pictures of you, but the reality is you don't have any power to act. Oh, yes, so you actually, do. Yes, and, you do. And, and actually, let me disagree with that. So during the floods this past spring, exactly. I was somebody who, when f people would get caught in the gridlock of government and wouldn't find, I helped a mayor get some uh, National Guard people they were unable I, to get. I agree. You I do those I got things. Red I don't Cross. think you have the power. I got Red Cross. Well, I... If you you're don't, young, I, I had the powers. I, I did it. People can I do got that. I got staff into a Red Cross shelter where it was needed promptly. That's uh, that's not powerless. I'm that's getting step in. Lieutenant Governor, question for you, candidates, please. Yes, um, Mr. Healy, I I really believe that every candidate running for office has a solemn duty to the voters to be clear about where they stand on issues of importance, and I think most people in Rhode Island right now know that you want to do nothing as Lieutenant Governor but no very little else. And on your website, there is um, from 1996, and you say that you don't change your opinions, but Rhode Island and the world have changed significantly since 1996. You have your platform. There are a number of things in there I wonder if you still advocate. Do you still advocate dramatic increases to income taxes and estate taxes? Um, do you still, um, what else in that um, long document, which really hasn't changed in 15 years, do you still advocate? The voters need to know. Mr. Healy. I think that you take that out of context because if you read this section, you would have read that there's a holistic approach to tax reform, and the holistic approach to tax reform includes the issue of putting education funding into the income tax because people who have children and who are using the school department generally are the ones that are earning the income. An over-reliance on the property tax was what we were talking about. We were talking about increasing the income tax for the purposes of minimizing the burden of the property tax on the elderly, the people who don't work, the pensioners, and all of that. So you can take it out of context, and because there's so much in that document and the other documents, I think I've written more extensively than anyone. In fact, I, I check your website, and I find only little blurbs of, I want to do the right thing. Mr. Venerini. So put it in, to put it in context, you're saying that you would increase the income tax? If you eliminate the property tax. Very good. All right. Mr. Venerini, the question is yours. Oh, for Mr. Healy, I guess. For people that really want cha to change things, explain to people why your plan will really fix the problems we have in the state when the office, if used correctly, can be a super watchdog agency, I know you're against that, that can cut more than $1 million a year and keep pressure on elected officials to do their jobs. Well, first, I don't agree with the premise of your argument. I, I know. You're you hung up on this power thing. Well, the, thing, the, the, power. the thing is that we're a government. We're a government by law. We're a government that right. exists by Constitution. And if you don't want to follow the Constitution, hey, be my guest. But the problem is that as long as there is a Constitution there, and as long as the Constitution does not give well, power... Well, that's why a constitutional convention to 
to extend the rights and the powers of the lieutenant governor is as good or better than your idea of eliminating the job. Well, mine saves you a million dollars a year in taxes. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. How, it, how that, doesn't it? How it doesn't? Because that million dollars goes into the general and treasury, and it's got to be used by the speaker or, or no, one no, of his no. cronies. See, or, or do you understand cronies. the concept of supplanting? If you take a million dollars and you put it back into the budget, right. it's one million dollars that doesn't have to be put out of the budget. They'll find a way. Lieutenant Governor. Um, my turn for a question or my turn? You're, you're but uh, what Mr. Venturini asked to Mr. Hilly. I've, I've lost track in the, in the, uh, <laughs> in the saving money in the it's budget. It's late in the debate. <laughs> but I, I, I want to go back to that issue because I think it's very important. Uh, Rhode Islanders are not getting a check for a dollar back. And right. it, this money will go back into the general fund. We are facing challenges. Uh, those dollars would be spent elsewhere. And I question whether those dollars could be spent as effectively it's less than a dollar a year for each Rhode Islander. $150 million last year turned back to the taxpayers, to people paying for health care. Thank you, um, Lieutenant Governor. I'm